It's like the braids from Avatar a little bit. Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Angel episode 13. So last episode of Angel was an interesting blend. It was very creepy and unsettling with obviously Cordelia having that pregnancy with seven demons inside of her and also very heartwarming and sweet at the same time because we really got to see just how much Wesley and Angel look after Cordy and really consider her part of their family. I mean, we have a nice core group. It just made me feel good seeing those interactions throughout that episode and seeing their absolute genuine concern and care for Cordy under such a horrible circumstance. We also had the last episode of Buffy, which of course is what I watched last since I'm alternating the shows. But last episode of Buffy, we had Giles turn into a demon and that was a very fun, crazy, out there episode. But something that I was thinking about, and I don't know if this is true, this could be totally off, but Ethan was talking to Giles before we figured out that he tricked him. But he was discussing something going on in the demon world and someone influencing things. And I'm wondering if there was any truth to what he said and if that could possibly affect Angel and their storyline over in LA. Like, will there be kind of a larger art connection as far as what's going on with the forces of darkness between the two shows? I feel like that's just an out there theory and that's actually not true, but just something I was thinking about and wondering if it like kind of tied into why that's part of the Slay Alive watch order between the shows. Um, but yeah, excited to see what happens. Uh, like I said um, before watching last episode of Angel, you know, I do want to see more of Kate and Angel, especially since Kate now knows that he's a vampire. I want to see how that relationship progresses and if she kind of becomes part of that inner circle as well. You know what I mean? Like since she, the, the main secret is out that Angel is a vampire and that vampires exist. Just You just need a little bit more to be one of the core Scoobies of Los Angeles. But excited to find out. As always, the full reaction to this episode and future reactions all on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who supports there. For now, let's get into today's reaction. Angel, episode 13. Some amazing dance moves. Hey, this is, um, Your idea of hell. Actually, in hell, you tend to know a lot of the people. <laughs> He's like, this is worse than hell. Worse than hell. Steve! Poor Angel. Out of his element. <laughs> Who knew Wesley had the moves? I like how enthusiastic he is. Also, a couple of brooding demon hunters start chatting up some of the fillies. <laughs> Angel's like, hard pass. I, I would if I knew who did. But I don't. <laughs> so I won't pass it on to anyone, will I? <laughs> He's definitely in the Hugh Grant school of charming. <laughs> Angel's look, oh my gosh, that was hilarious how he just glanced over for one second. So I told myself that I'm honing my eye. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, Angel in small talk situations. I want to see this the whole episode. I love this. <sighs> Angel, you gonna dance? Wait, really? This is not a dream sequence? This is real. <laughs> no, this can't be real. This can't be real. This is how Angel dances? I don't dance. What was he imagining? Like, that's what he thinks of as dancing? <laughs> I mean, that was hilarious seeing that, whatever it was. I know the feeling. <laughs> Dead inside, literally. Well, who is this dude? Definitely has some villainous look to him. This is when you run, not walk towards those sounds. Right, from the intro, it does feel like Kate is not going to be in this episode. Ugh. 
Come on, so many things just happened with Angel and Kay. We have to see more of them. They order the ground. Maybe you could crush the beans with your vampire strength. Just order some coffee. Push the back. Or go to Starbucks. Even better, Angel. You're always worried that no one's gonna suck the energy out of the room like a giant black hole of boring despair, but there you- Oh, come on. Don't be so mean. He was trying. Pops, I don't suppose there's any leftovers lying about. Any uh, abandoned shrimp puffs? <laughs> he seems so hopeful and longing. <laughs> I don't have much, but as long as you make yourself useful around here, you're entitled to a cut. Cordy's like, are we talking about money? I'm in this conversation. To say. Well, this is great. Now we're really... Do I have to take a pay cut? Mm -hmm. A team. <laughs> Cordy asks the important questions before she finishes with team. Jeez. Oh, he died in a horrible way. Did he get burned alive? <gasps> what did you see? I don't just see. I feel okay. Thank you, Doyle. So much yeah, did Doyle really do this to Cordy or was it an accident? Because it doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do. I'm driving then. I'm coming with you. I intend to earn my keep. Oh, in terms of this keep, by the way. There's no dental, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, Angel. No dental? What is this organization? Well, there's definitely some breadcrumbs. Boss, why don't I stay put and um, stay here and wait for you? Wes is like, that's exactly what I was going to do. Keep the engine running. What was that? Tell me that wasn't Wesley sneaking around in the background. That is my cause here. Stop what? The bringer of chaos. A very on the nose title. How can I kill it? You won't be able to. It's stronger than one man. Angel's like, I am no man. People wish to live. Stay away. I mean, maybe you guys can team up and work together, though. He said his name was Tay. Seem Did you draw that, Angel? That's incredible. There are portals now? When did they put in portals? Don't we have enough on our hands without burning monster fiends? I, know, I thought the supernatural was enough. Now there's other dimensions of supernatural. You can count on it. Wesley, stop kissing butt. It's not like we get overtime. <laughs> no overtime either? No dental, no overtime? What's the pay? A locked door is not going to stop our boy Angelus. Okay, I know I say it, but Arkham City, anybody? Come on. That's the first time we've seen those grappling hooks, right? It's pretty cool. You need a full-on, like, gadget belt. How much is that? Enough for Spike to do the job. Uh-oh, you got company, bro. What the heck? What was that? Who is that? Are these more interdimensional creatures? Burned alive? Know anyone who does that kind of thing? Holy, she just went through the chair? Where? How soon? I want to see what kind of cell phones these creatures have. Is it better than iPhones? I feel like she might be good though. <laughs> That's so cool seeing him show up in the background of the shot like that. Angel, don't you know you're not supposed to text and drive? Come on. Oh, the worst feeling in the world. Angel, this is how accidents happen. 
Angel Investigations, we help the hopeless. I hate the cell phone that you gave me. Any luck? <laughs> Find four similar killings in the last 11 months. All guys, all burned from the inside out. Okay, that's definitely a pattern. Are you okay? Did she care? Did she care about me? Did she carry you? Carry the movie? <laughs> Wesley. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the worst. You must be going through a canyon. Cordelia, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Are you back? You know what? Yeah, I can. I have been here way too many times. Violet eyes. Um, she seemed intelligent. She was very uh, attractive. <laughs> <laughs> the sizzle factor. Angel. I can't hear you. Okay, we need a better phone for our Batman over here. Garden. What man? Where is he? Over there in the black coat. Pretty smart of her. Pretty smart of her. We have a code three in the front gallery. Roger. Oh, good thing you took that coat off. And this brings us to Manet's incomparable. <laughs> oh, come on. This is great. This is great. I need to see Angel in more situations where he puts on a persona. <laughs> Am I crazy for not thinking she's gonna be the bad guy? In the middle distance is the French poet and critic Baudelaire, a friend of the artist now, Baudelaire. <laughs> Everyone's just like, very interesting, very interesting. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Baudelaire is actually a little taller and a lot drunker than he's depicted here. <laughs> they get a round of applause, dang. Vampire. Among other things. Who's Tay? What does he want? I don't have time for this. If you didn't kill the guy in the ice company, who did? Come on, work together, communicate. No, I'm warning you. Why? What's gonna happen? Too late, whatever it is. We must go. Was it someone tr time traveling like the Terminator? The traitor, it and the other are ours. If you know what's good for you, you won't do that. <laughs> like how Angel didn't even let him finish talking. They got her. What'll happen to her? She will be unmade. Killed? In other words? You don't have to do this to me. Watch its hands. No. No. Oh. No. I don't know who the real bad guys are, though. I'm not certain right now. You'll feel so much better after this. I doubt that. Jeez. I mean, obviously they have to cut away because that's just too graphic. He's like, let me get a little more comfortable around the attractive vampire. Where is Kate? <sighs> Why are you doing this? I thought the vampires were killers. They are. I was cursed by Gypsy. He's like, I'm a very special vampire. Here's my number. Try me. He's like, I'm a very good listener. It's like the braids from Avatar a little bit. Age co-controls our physical and sexual power. He even signals when we are. Jeez, no wonder she's there trying to escape. Jira. Jira of Odental. She's like, you haven't heard of me? Had your people. And she's like, things are heating up a little bit here, too. From what you're saying, he probably didn't mean to hurt her. And the girl couldn't help killing him. It was an accident. What about the other four guys who died the same way in the last year? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can't go around hurting men in my world. And the daughter to a king, sir. A king who promised happiness and... Maybe she's not so good after all. Right? And it's my promise to protect them. And tell them to stay out of my way. It's like, maybe stay in your own dimension before you burn people. Well, that's not just another girl at the party there, Angel. <laughs> oh, they're quite rare. Pink Nancy met for the altar because of her love. For... <laughs> they don't have mutual interests. Us. 
We have a lot of work to do in this dimension. Jeez. It can go home now. And it's like extra, you know, insulting and meaningful. They just call the women it, you know. And don't you feel better now? I mean, technically, I feel like she doesn't feel anything, right? Are you okay? You look spun. How many of them are there? How are they doing? They're chilling. <laughs> He's like, get it? Get it? If he accepts us, we'll leave first thing in the morning. I don't know if that's soon enough. You might need to leave now. I forgot to turn that thing on again. You think a guy who knows how to use an ancient Scythian short bow could figure out how to use a cell phone? Oh, I love how Angel is not great with cell phones. Just another perfect quirk. Found him. Where? A worker at a nice plant tells me he recently started shipping two tons of ice a week to this address. Ah, uh, shoot, shoot, they're tracked down. I tried to call you in the midst of a situation. Uh, I had to take a shower. <laughs> there were quite a few of them. Perhaps we need a plan. Here's the plan. We go in, I start hitting people hard in the face, see where it takes us. <laughs> I mean, that's a start. Maybe some strategizing on the drive over. Okay. You wait here. I want a warning when the demons show. All right. What's the warning signal? Bird sound? Oh shoot, Wesley, careful. Don't hurt yourself. Which are you from, brother? You don't wanna know. I mean, he gave him up pretty quick, but can you blame him with Angel grabbing him? I know all about it. We're leaving in the morning. Not soon enough. What are you talking about? They're on their way, they'll be here. Now, that would be now. Warning, okay, this is what I was saying. Come on. <laughs> oh, I wanna see him stall them. Please don't die, he's too funny. Uh, allow me to introduce my <laughs> Wesley is now the time. <laughs> Wesley. How about a red clay massage? We have hands that heal, brothers. <clears throat> oh shoot. I hope that's just a knockout. He tried. He tried. At least he landed on a pillow, too. No concussion, possibly. <laughs> The element of surprise. That outfit, it quite becomes you. <laughs> oh, Wesley. I found myself under the jacket. Have a feeling. You can and I'm about to get your eyeballs fried. <laughs> no, but uh... Who knew Wesley was such a flirt? <laughs> he can't help himself. I mean, good thing Wesley and Cordy did that, otherwise they'd be in trouble. Still. Time to go home. Come on, Angel. And where are they gonna escape to, though, like, long term? Aren't they just gonna be perpetually hunted? Oh, you deserve some coffee after that, Angel. <laughs> oh, shoot, really? <laughs> Cagey little brutes, aren't they? I'll wash them if you like, individually. They'll be just as good as new. <laughs> Better. You're gonna wash them, Wesley? Taken hostage. It's good to know, and uh, you're not fired. I'm not? No, it wasn't your fault, and you know what? You handled yourself very well. You did, Wesley, you did. I can't tell you how. I'm your faithful servant, Angel. Like I said, an art. <laughs> he does it with style. Can I get you something? Knife to our throat, you can run away? Yeah, come on, I don't blame Cordy for being upset with her. Kate would never have done that. Just say it, Angel. She nearly got Cordelia and Wesley killed. I had no choice. Yes, you did. If you vowed to protect the innocent Jared, it shouldn't matter which dimension they're from. Exactly. Words of wisdom. I mean, she's definitely gonna come back, right? That's what it seems like. <laughs> this is what the whole episode should have been. Just this dancing. Dance battle. Wesley versus Angelus. Can you imagine if Spike saw this? Oh, his commentary would be killer. All right, so that is Angel episode 13. So that was interesting. I mean, I, we, we now have... Um, we opened 
kind of the door, pun intended, into other dimensions as far as the show, which I think is not something which I expected. I feel like that is a bit of a game changer. I mean, it's, it's almost going the full superhero route now, and I wonder if that's also going to be seen in any way in the future in Buffy. Like now, it's like we already had Earth, we had the creatures, the underworld, hell, and now we have other dimensions. I mean, I feel like we could go more Star Trek if that's the direction the show could go. But for this particular episode, it was interesting. You know, I first of all, I love the opening. I love seeing Angel and Wesley at a party, both, you know, awkward Angel <laughs> hating every moment and Wesley loving every moment. I mean, the, the contrast of their personalities really does work well together. And Wesley and Cordy as well, kind of on their side quest throughout this episode, did work as a very amusing and entertaining. And then Jira, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, Jira. Um, she was an interesting character, you know, obviously, um, you know, in a very difficult situation, like coming from a world where the women are mistreated in such a horrible way, like you can 100% understand why you would want to escape from a situation like that. And not to get too serious, but I do think there is uh, some relevant social commentary. I mean, obviously, there are societies that have been known and to this day mutilate the women in a way to control them and out of fear and out of a desire to, you know, just destroy their independence. And so those parallels, you know, are very um, relevant to our, our world, unfortunately. But, you know, also coming from her, you know, she clearly is looking out for her own. And, uh, you know, she did say, like, when Angel was, they, they were kind of having that argument where Angel is discussing, like, looking out, you have to care about the human life. Like, those are my people. You have to think about them. And her response was, oh, it's easy to come from you when you're free. And that's a very understandable emotion to come from, right? Like, it's easy to tell someone the way they're supposed to behave in a moral sense when you haven't suffered or endured and your whole society hasn't the way that theirs has. So I can understand that feeling. I do think it's mistaken. You know, I think that ultimately Angel was spot on with the truth. And, you know, knowing what we know about Angel, obviously she didn't. But knowing what we know, he's been to hell. You know, he has suffered. He's no stranger. It's not like he hasn't, you know, has had an easy life in any way. You know, Angel has sacrificed himself and suffered in just tremendous ways multiple, multiple times. You know, so I, I do, you know, it's... It's easy, like the guy we saw in the opening who was burned alive as collateral damage. I don't think they, the show made a point to make him seem like the most uh, relatable dude. But at the end of the day, he there nothing that we saw. Like he was so he was drinking on the job. He wasn't like some cool, handsome, suave, or some sad puppy-eyed you know person who was killed off. But it's still you know to me, I'm like that dude probably had a family. He had friends. He had cousins. He had a girlfriend. He had a mom. You know, and not to mention just the pattern, how many humans were burned alive as collateral damage. It's, it's, you know, if we didn't see all those moments happen, but if you just spend a second to imagine that loss, I think that, you know, it, it is very unfortunate. And it sucks that you're coming from a society or a dimension where, you know, you're treated in a horrible way. But I think that the heroic thing and, you know, the reason I choose the word heroic is because it's very understandable not to. And it's, you know, you would hesitate to even judge not coming from a place from that. But the heroic thing to do would be to care about all creatures from all dimensions, you know, despite the fact that you come from a horrible place and that your people are suffering. You know what I mean? Like you would be more considerate. But I do feel and, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me not to be biased against Jira. Like when she's like telling me like, yeah, kill K Wesley and Cordelia. And I'm like, not only are they great, amazing characters who I love and have been invested in this whole show, but I just feel like it's so selfish on another level, you know, when here they are like helping you, you know, like you could at least thank Angel for kind of saving your life. I mean, all of you would be dead if it weren't for him coming and fighting for you, warning your people. I just feel like a little gratitude when someone does such a huge favor for you and a little bit of loyalty is something that maybe we'll see in that character in the future. But it could be interesting too. Like I, I get the uh, anti-hero vibes from Jira and that could be interesting. Like I could see Angel 
you know, assisting her in the future or maybe having to fight her in the future. Either one, which leaving that up in the air makes it more intriguing in a sense. I do also feel like there is definitely some instant chemistry between Angel and Jira. And I think, um, you know, it's obviously he maybe was just attracted to her. But I think it's more than that. I think that Angel, you know, showing that opening with him talking to a normal person, you know, I think that it's very difficult for Angel to relate to a human being when his experience and his history, you know, he's lived for so long, you know, he's a vampire. I just, it would be hard for him to connect to someone um, who maybe has no connection to the otherworldly things going on. In a similar way that I thought that Buffy and Riley is probably a better fit, since now we know Riley is part of the initiative, not just some normal college bro. Um, but at the same time, I still feel like uh, uh, I still feel like I'm rooting for Angel and Kate. I, I think that yes, she's at least as far as we know, just an ordinary human, but she's brave, she's badass, and I kind of like that. I like that in a way she's kind of operating without any of these extra powers or extra knowledge about everything that's going on. But so far, she's conducted herself in a very noble, courageous way. Like to me, that's an extra bonus for why I feel like she's an interesting character. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I uh, enjoyed that episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, like I said, of course, full reactions are on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who supports there. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.